everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have the Posca colored pencils. These were Happy Mail. A wonderful subscriber did send these to me. They arrived on my doorstep a couple days ago and I wanted to be able to share my first impressions, do a bit of a review, but I'm so excited to have these because I've been wanting these for the longest time. And they have recently on Amazon had a drastic price drop, probably half the price. <laughs> so, if you have been waiting to purchase these or have been interested in this set, now is probably a great time to grab them. I'm gonna to try to get this video up as soon as possible before the price goes back up. I don't know if it's going to or not. If you check the description box down below, I will have the link down there for these pencils as well as links for my Etsy shop, my email list, my Facebook group, and my Patreon if you'd like to support me there. I also now have channel membership. If you would like to find more information out about that, you can click the join button down below the video. So let's go ahead and take a look at these pencils. So when they were shipped to me, they did come in a bag. We all know that Amazon is now sending things in bags. <laughs> so you could see by looking through here that I do have one of the tips that is broken on this pencil. We'll have to pull them out and take a look at them and see if there are any others that have broken tips, but I think the pencil is okay. So they do come in this plastic here and on the back, it tells you that they are an oil-based pencil, soft and smooth writing experience, bright colors, easy color blending. We are gonna find that out because we are going to do a blend test in this video. Delivers an oil paint effect by blending the drawing line with an oil medium light resistance and then down here it tells you the names of all of the 36 colors and then inside here it does come with this elastic band and this is actually so that you could put it around the pencils like that to hold them together and then you've got these three trays so here's what the colors look like once you open them up and lay them out this looks to be in a pretty good color family order here's what the tips look like on the pencils when they first come to you it looks like they've got that more blunt tip on them and i do recommend sharpening them because all colored pencils always do have that wax film on the tip you will get much better performance if you do sharpen your pencils prior to using them in your coloring books now in the first tray we get a white we get a few yellows an orange this looks like it may be a deeper orange we get a couple reds this one looks like it's more of a salmon like a deep salmon type color we'll have to see when we swatch it out this looks like a bright pinky orange and then we get a pink and then a lilac and then in the next tray we get some red violets we get three blues here a darker blue a mid-tone blue and then a lighter blue and then this one looks like it might be a lighter blue but it looks more like a blue green so we have a couple shades of teal here as we get into our greens and we do have some beautiful greens here as well as our olive green and a beautiful bright green we have a couple more greens in this tray and then we are moving into our browns it looks like we get a couple golden yellows as well as a shade of tan we have three browns here a lighter one a mid-tone and then a darker one then we have three shades of gray and our black okay so let's take a closer look at these pencils they do have a round black barrel with a color dipped tip and there is a number on the color dipped tip this one is number 26 it does say Uniposca pencil and then on the other side it says Mitsubishi pencil company and then this is what the tip of the pencil looks like when it comes to you it does have the more blunt tip and that is to protect them when they're being shipped to you okay so now I'm going to test these pencils in my doll 133 I'm also going to test them in the jar link I know these are the two pencil sharpeners that a lot of you are using and I highly recommend either one of these pencil sharpeners the jar link is an electric pencil sharpener so for those of you that have issues with your hands maybe a little bit of arthritis in your hands or whatever that pencil sharpener is probably going to suit you much better and then this one is a crank pencil sharpener if you're someone who is worried about your artist grade pencils and you don't want to use an electric sharpener because you're afraid it's going to grind them away then this one may be better suited for you if you don't have any issues with your hand 
And I know that a lot of you, before you purchase a set of pencils, you like to see how they perform in the pencil sharpener and which pencil sharpener is going to work best. But the doll and the jar link do usually work very well on most colored pencil sets. So with the doll, you just pull it out like this. Then you push the button and you put the pencil in. And by using the doll and testing this out, this is also going to show us how hard or soft the wood is on these pencils. If you've been watching my pencil reviews for quite some time, you know that most of the budget sets are made with a cheaper wood, so a much harder wood. Like if I put the Crayolas in here, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my Crayolas. They are one of my favorite sets of pencils, but if I were to put a Crayola in here, it is very hard to turn this lever because they are a very budget set and they are made with a very hard, cheaper wood. So we're gonna turn this and see how hard this is to turn. And it's actually, I don't know, somewhere in the middle. It's not super hard to turn, but it is harder. And then you will notice with the doll that it will stop. And that means that your pencil is done. And so you can just pull it out. And this is the lead I now have on my pencil. This is a nice sharp lead that I prefer. And that's the setting I keep on my doll. You can change the setting by turning this. If you turn this little dial this direction, you're going to get a much duller point on your pencil. And if you turn it this direction, you're going to get a much sharper tip. I think I have mine in the middle, but a little bit more towards this direction. I definitely don't have it all the way to the sharper side. Let's go ahead and try the jar link now. And this jar link goes in and out of stock. I don't think it's in stock right now, but there is also a substitute for this one. And the only difference between this one and the substitute is that you cannot charge the other one. This one, I can actually charge it and it keeps a charge for a very long time. So I don't have to keep it connected, but I have found that that's the only difference. And I have done a review on this one and the other one that jar link has substituted for this one. And I will put both of those in the upper right hand corner so you could check out both of those reviews. But this is the one that broke in shipping. So I'm gonna use this one and see how well the jar link sharpens this one. So let's go ahead and put it in here. And with this sharpener, you barely have to push down and it will auto stop. And it stopped. And that is the lead that I got on this one. Now, if I put them both next to each other, you could see that the jar link did sharpen this one a little bit more. I do always keep my jar link set to three because that is supposed to be the more blunt side. But here is the difference between what we got from the jar link and then what we got from the doll. I have just went through and sharpened every one of my pencils so we can get to swatching and see what the colors look like. But I do wanna mention that these pencils right now are only $38.47 on Amazon. This is the lowest price they have ever been since they were released. I'm not sure if there's a bigger set. I think this is the biggest set. It's all I can find on any website. I even looked on Blick to see if there was a bigger set available. They also only have the 36 set. They did have open stock available for each one of the colors. I know that is important for a lot of you, but on Blix website, they are available right now for $39.62, which is a little bit more than Amazon. I don't know if the price on these is going to go back up, but they used to initially be right around $65, and then I think they were right around $59, but the price has never come down as low as it is right now. And then you can purchase all of the individual colors open stock on Blix website also for $2.30. But if you think you're really going to love these, it's probably more beneficial to purchase two sets. That way you have another set for the future because if you purchase them like this, they come to just a little bit more than a dollar per pencil. So now that I have them all sharpened and everything, we are going to go ahead and swatch them. Okay, so the first color we have is white. And oh my goodness, these go down so nice. So I like to make just a very light layer and then I like to come back about two thirds and lay another layer, making it a little bit darker. And then I like to come back and lay another layer here in the last third, making it quite a bit darker. Of course, this is white, so you really can't see it. So then I have ivory, and again, I'm just gonna lay down a very light layer all the way across the swatch box. And then I'm gonna do two thirds 
And then I'm gonna do the last third. And for much harder pressure, I like to go back the other direction. These are very, very smooth and they lay down very nicely. Next we have lemon yellow. This is a beautiful, really bright yellow. Oh, that's gorgeous. So this one looks like it is just a little bit darker than the ivory. The ivory looks like it has a lot of yellow in it. And then I'm gonna come back and use harder pressure, laying down a really thick layer. But I'm pushing pretty hard on these pencils and there were no issues with breakage. This one is called Bright Yellow Orange. This is a gorgeous shade of orange. And then I'm gonna come back and use much harder pressure. And you can see how nicely these are going down on the paper. These are super nice pencils. They're really soft. Next we have orange. And then what is this one? This one is number 16. And I'm just pulling the number from the tip of the pencil and then I'm going to the back of the box to look and see what the name of it is. But I really just think I'm going to cut out that part of the box that has the names and I'll probably just attach it somehow to the trays with the elastic band. Next we have 15, and 15 is red. Then we have 14, and 14 is dark red. This is the one I was curious about to see what color this actually was. It looks very salmon-y, but like a dark salmon. I guess that's what they're calling dark red. Let me get a little bit more of it down here so I could really tell. I don't know, to me that does look kind of salmon-y, but like a reddish salmon type color. You'll have to let me know what you think. That's a pretty color though. Next is 66 and 66 is coral pink. I don't know if we have an actual pink pink in this set. I guess we'll find out here in a minute, but that is a super pretty color. And then we're going to have a light pink. This one is number 51 and it's actually called light pink. I absolutely love light pinks, but I can't wait to see what other colors we have in this set that will make a great color combination. But that's a really pretty shade of pink. I don't know if we have another pink. I am getting to a lilac now, and I think it's actually called lilac. Yeah, this one is actually called lilac, and it's number 34. Oh, that's a really pretty color. I think this might be the only purple we get in this set, but I'm thinking that this set might be really great to combine with other sets. And I'm wondering how close this lilac actually is to the lilac in the Prisma color set that we no longer have. I'm gonna have to test that out towards the end of the video. I hope I remember. Okay, so that was the first tray. And we are moving on to the next tray, starting with number 35 which is mauve. And at the end of this video, after we get all the colors swatched out and review the colors, I will be doing a blend test to see how these pencils perform. Now I have 11, and 11 is fuchsia. That's a super pretty color. Now we're getting into the blues. I think this one is called navy blue. It is number nine. I can't get over how nicely these pencils go down on the paper. In case you're wondering, this is the Spring Hill paper. This is the only paper I ever use for my swatch charts. And I will have it linked in the description box below, but I use it for my swatch charts and for printing out my digital coloring pages. But that is navy blue. That's a really pretty dark blue. And then we have a lighter blue. It looks like it might be a little bit brighter. This one is 10 and 10 is actually Prussian blue. So that's sort of a mid-tone brighter blue. That's really pretty. And then we're gonna have even a lighter blue and it looks to be a little bit brighter as well. This one is 33 and 33 is just blue. So we do get quite a few blues in this set. This one is number eight and eight is actually light blue. That's a really pretty color. And then it looks like we have a teal here. This one is number 39 and 39 is blue green. And 31 is emerald green. And then we have a really beautiful bright green. This one is 52 and 52 is called fresh green. That is a really pretty green. We do get quite a few greens in this set too. This one looks like it's more of an olivier green. It's number six. And this one is just called green. And 
for those of you wondering if the color matches the tip of the pencil, here is the color dipped tip, and then you can see that it is a bit off. The top looks like it is a lot more olive, but this looks quite a bit more green, kind of like a grass green. And then the next one I think is definitely more of an olive green. This is 76 and it's called Green Tea. This is a really pretty color, but I'm already seeing that this color, green tea, and then this fresh green, those would look gorgeous blended together. And then I think this other darker green is probably gonna look really great mixed in with those two. So this is seven, and this one is khaki green. We do have a couple more greens. That seems to be the way that it is with most colored pencil sets. You do get quite a few greens. But yeah, I think this one, blended in with the green tea and the fresh green would be really pretty. Maybe we'll use that combo for the blend test. That was the end of the second tray. And so now we have the third tray and the third tray does have a couple more greens. So this is 18 and 18 is dark olive. This one would probably blend together really nicely with this green. That's a pretty color though. And then we have another one and it looks like it's more of a blue green. It's number 77 and it's called pine green. Let me write the... That's a gorgeous color. And then this one is some sort of tan, I think, 54. It's actually called light orange. Maybe this is a peach. So I think this is going to be, yep, this is a peach. That is very pretty. And I thought that it would be more of a tan despite what the color dipped tip looked like, just because of where they had it placed in the case with the browns. But that is a pretty color. And then we've got our golden yellows. This one is 78 and it is light ochre. We've got light ochre, and then we have another one here as we start to move into our browns. This one is 19, and 19 is called ochre. So it looks like you have enough colors in here to create gold or to make something look like shades of gold on your coloring pages, which is good especially for a set of 36. You could probably use the ochre, the light ochre, and possibly the ivory to give your gold a pop and make it look much more vibrant. The next one is 29, and 29 is going to be ash brown. So we get a couple browns. Next I have number 21, and 21 is just brown. So that's sort of a mid-tone brown. And then we have 22, which is going to be a darker brown. It's actually called dark brown. And then we're getting into our grays. The first one I have is number 23, and this is light gray. This looks like a warmer gray. That might be a really good gray to create white on your coloring pages. Next I have 37, and 37 is gray. Then I have 61, and 61 is going to be dark gray. We're getting very close to the last one. I think the next one is black. But for a set of 36 to get a light gray, a mid-tone gray, and then a dark gray, that's really nice. And then the next one is 24, and this one is black. So here's what all the colors look like all laid out. You can see that we do get two yellows, we get an orange, which is a brighter orange, and then more of a true orange. We get a vermilion, which is a reddish orange. Then we get our true red, and then what they're calling a dark red. To me, I don't know, I picture a dark red being kind of like a very darkish brownish red. And this one, like I said earlier, looks very much like a shade of salmon, but a very much darker salmon. But it's still a very pretty red. It's just not what I would consider a dark red, but it is a very unique color to be able to have in a set of 36, which I really like. Then we have this gorgeous core pink and then we get a light pink. Now as far as pinks, I wish that we had a darker pink in this set. I think that maybe they could have gotten rid of possibly one of these greens and gave us another pink that was just a darker shade of pink and I would have been fine with that. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below. And then we have a lilac here. I do want to see how well this matches up to the lilac we no longer have in the Prismacolor set. And then we get what they're calling mauve. This is like a really pretty red violet color. 
Then we have a fuchsia, and then we get a very dark blue, a mid-tone blue, and a lighter blue. And then we get even a lighter blue, which of course they're calling light blue. Then we get a blue green, which is beautiful. And then emerald green, which is kind of like a blue green color. And then fresh green, which is gorgeous. I love my bright greens. Then we get this color that they're calling green that looks very much like a grass green. And then we have a yellow green, which leans more to me on the olive side and then a khaki green which this looks very olive to me and then they have this dark olive which just looks more like a dark green to me this pine green is a gorgeous color I absolutely love this one but I really honestly have no idea what I would mix this color with to create a color combination just in this set so like I said this is a really good set to have as an add-on set to one of your other colored pencil sets I really want to try them with the Prisma colors and see how they work with the Prisma colors. I also wonder how well they would work with the polychromos as sort of some add-on colors or if there are different colors in here than there are from those other sets. So then we get what they're calling light orange which to me that's more like a peach and then light ochre and ochre so those are more of our golden tones of yellow and this ash brown is a really pretty lighter brown and then we get a mid-tone brown and we get a darker brown. Then we get a light gray, a mid-tone gray, and a dark gray, which I think is really nice for a set of just 36, and then a black. Now I think this set is probably enough to be able to do a coloring page. I feel like now on my coloring journey though, I would probably have to bring in some other colors from another set. I did start out when I was very much a beginner with just a 36 set of pencils and I did just fine and I used that for the longest time. I can't say that the variety of colors was the same. I believe it was the Prisma Color 36 set and I can't remember exactly right now which colors you get in just the 36 set, but that set got me through for probably the first year or so. So if you're a beginner and you just want a smaller set of pencils to start, there are plenty of lighter colors in here to be able to put together some color combinations. You do have a shade here that you could use for skin tones along with some darker shades here for darker skin tones. And you can kind of combine those together if you're doing portraits but I would say more so for darker skin tones it would probably work better with this set than for lighter skin tones but if you're just coloring basic coloring pages and you're coloring some flowers and putting together colors you've got your ivory you've got lemon yellow which would really give your pages a pop you've got the light pink this light pink looks like it would mix well with the mauve those would be really pretty together and then you could even add a red on top of that or possibly this fuchsia we have this fresh Fresh green which is a really beautiful highlight color the light orange is a very light color that'll really add that pop to your pages you can mix this light orange with the darker oranges and create something really beautiful you can take your yellow mix those with an orange and then a red but I think you could probably get along with just 36 colors if you wanted to I know so many of us have to have all of the colors <laughs> and that's where this would come in really good to mix in with another one of your favorite colored pencil sets we're gonna go ahead and do a blend test and see how these colors blend together. Okay, so I just grabbed another sheet of Spring Hill paper and we're gonna go ahead and do a blend test. Like I said earlier, I wanted to try the khaki green with the green tea and the fresh green. I think those will be really pretty together. So I'm gonna start with my darkest color. These definitely lay down so nicely. Now I'm gonna come in with my mid-tone and I'm gonna start here over where I stopped that darkest color and I'm gonna pull it down through the center. Wow, look at that transition already. I'm pulling up as I come into where I'm going to lay that lightest color. Then I'm gonna grab my lightest color and go right over that and pull it down. Even the mid-tone and the lightest color, there's a much bigger difference between the values of those colors. And to look at that transition, so nice already. Now let's go the other direction with a second layer. And then I'm going to grab my mid-tone and pull that down laying a second layer. And then my lightest color. These lay down really beautifully. The colors are laying down on top of one another just really, really nicely. They're blending together really nice at that transition so far. So that is two layers and I'm gonna come over here and go the other direction and use a little bit harder pressure for my third layer, pulling it down as I lift up into that mid-tone. Now I'm gonna lay a third layer of the mid-tone and then my lightest color. 
Now let's go back the other direction and lay a fourth layer. I still haven't covered all the white of the paper, so I'm going to get that fourth layer down there. A fourth layer of the mid-tone. It looks like the mid-tone has covered a bit more than the darkest color. I may have been using a little bit harder pressure though. Okay, so this is the fifth layer. Now we're going to come back and try a sixth layer. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get any more layers down here. I did use harder pressure this last time. And I do still see a little bit of the white of the paper, but those transitions are really nice. Let me go ahead and take my lightest color and we're going to go the other direction and try to pull all the colors together and see what happens. Look at that color moving around. These are really nice pencils. Oh yeah, this is working to really burnish those colors out and create a really smooth transition. Look at that transition right there, even between the mid-tone and the lightest tone. Let me hold this a little bit closer so y'all can see, but they blended together really nicely. So you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below about the blend test. But these pencils did lay down very nice onto the paper. I would like to test them out in some different coloring books and see what I think of these and maybe try them out with some other colored pencil sets. I really want to try them out with my Prismacolors and my Polychromos. So since I mentioned really wanting to try these out with my Polychromos, I want to see here if we get different colors than what we get in the polychromo set because I feel like, again, this would be a really nice add-on set. Let's see if anything matches up exactly. So the orange that we get here looks like it comes right in between the cadmium orange and the orange glaze. This orange here does not match up exact to anything in the polychromo set. The vermilion looks similar to the pale geranium lake or possibly the deep, deep scarlet red, but they're not exact. And then the red looks very similar to the deep red, but this red is a little bit different. It looks darker. This dark red, I'm not finding anywhere on this swatch chart. It looks very close to the Pompeian red, but this is actually much lighter than this color. So those would be a really nice blend. I don't think I checked the yellows. So the ivory looks very close to the cream, but they still look a little bit different. They're pretty close though. And then this lemon yellow looks very similar to the light cadmium yellow, which is right here. There's nothing here that matches the lilac. There's nothing that matches the mauve. And I'm just gonna go through this like really quickly because this probably should be in a whole other video. But as I look at this and go down the list of colors, I'm not finding exact matches. The green tea is close to the permanent green olive, but it looks like the green tea has a little bit more yellow in it. It might actually be closer to this earth green yellowish, but the green tea is still darker. The khaki green looks very close to the olive green yellowish. The khaki green looks like it has less brown in it. And the light ochre here looks very much like the light yellow ochre. But overall, between the two sets, I think that this probably would be a good add-on. There are some colors in this set that are different, but some of them are very, very close. I'm sure if you did some comparisons to some of your budget sets, you would probably find some colors in the Posca set that are very different than what you get in your budget sets. It may be cool to mix some of these with the Crayolas. That might be fun too because there's some very unique colors in the Crayolas and these would probably be really good fill-ins. And the one last thing that I wanted to compare because I was afraid I was going to forget <laughs> would be to check out this lilac. Oh my goodness. Uh, they're a little bit different but that is super close. Here's the lilac in the Prismacolor set. And here is the lilac in the Posca set, and I'll hold those much closer so that you can see. But this is the lilac that we no longer have in the Prismacolor set. I know a lot of us still do have it, but that's been replaced. The lavender and the lilac have been replaced with other colors. So this is the lilac here, and then this lilac looks like it's really close. I think it's just a little bit darker. Okay, so overall, I think that this is a really nice set. Of course, I think it would be better suited for probably an add-on set, unless you are very much a beginner and just feel like you want to try a colored pencil set and 36 colors is enough for you. But I do think it comes with a nice selection of colors. I think the colors lay down really, really nicely. You can see in the blend test, we had really smooth, beautiful transitions and the colors came together really nicely. They lay down super soft. There's no scratchiness at all. I love how they lay down on the paper. If you have 
any questions about this set of pencils, please leave those in the comments below and I will definitely come back and answer those for you. I will have the link for these pencils in the description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this first impressions and review video and I hope that it was helpful. If you think you're going to pick up a set for yourself, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring. Bye. Thank you.